Yes, I know, there's every truth in what you've said. This is a very queer, dark and incomprehensible universe and I understand it little. I myself have always tried to apply pure logic to it, and the application of logic can lead us into strange passes. It's done so in this case. You've brought my own words up in my face and a man should stand by his word. I will never trust in logic again. You say that I hold life cheap, you're right, I do. Your own included. What do I mean? I mean, that you have taken and killed, by strangulation, a harmless and helpless fellow creature of twenty years. I mean, that in that chest, there, lie the staring and futile remains of something that four hours ago lived, and laughed, and ran, and found it good. Laughed as you could never laugh, ran as you could never run. I mean that for your cruel and scheming pleasure you have committed a sin and a blasphemy against the very lives which you yourselves now find so precious. And you've done more than this. Not only have you killed him, but you've rotted the lives of all those to whom he was dear. And you've given a fate worse than death to his father, an equally harmless old man who has fought his way through to a peaceful end, to whom now the whole universe will be blackened and distorted beyond the limits of thought. That is what you have done. And in dragging him round here tonight, you have committed a lewd and infamous jest upon him, and a bad jest at that. And if you think, as your kind of philosopher generally does, that all life is is just a bad jest, then you will have the pleasure of having it played upon yourselves. What am I doing? It's not what I am doing, Brandon. It's what society's going to do. And what's going to happen to you at the hands of society, I am not in a position to say. But I can have a pretty shrewd guess, I think. You can hang. Both of you. You swines. You're going to hang. <laughs>